Welcome to a new season of Billingham Stars TV, your home for highlights of the Ultimate Windows Billingham Stars and its pre-season action at the Fort Mice Arena as Telford Tigers come into town uh, to kick off the season. A revamped National League following the demise of the English Premier League. So Telford coming in with the likes of Jason Silverthorne and GB's gold medal winning defenceman Jonathan Weaver. Coached by former Billingham bomber Tom Watkins. For the Stars, six new faces including imports Archers Ozols and Dennis Basketovs. Defenceman Darren Statusfield, forward Callum Patterson and stepping up from the juniors James Helens and Alex Preston. A return to the blue line as well for Dave Thomas. So plenty of new faces for the Billingham Stars. Here's all of your action with commentary from Anthony Lowe and Jonathan Langstaff. But now forward on the rush come the Tigers but cut off well by the rangy Artis Ozols. Yeah, Shot comes in from Michael Elder and then Elder taken out off the puck and then Dennis, sorry Sam Hewitt starting in net dives on that at the second attempt. First good play from Artis Ozols. Here's Jack Emerson now, looks to go around the outside of his man and does. Ooh, an elbow ooh that was right almost an el a high elbow there. Is it out in front, chance for the Stars. Oh, and it's saved on the line, it's still hacking and whacking and it wasn't covered. Brilliant kick save from Dennis Bell. Eventually, Brilliant Sam kick Hewitt. Save. Just noticing Jack Watkins on the ice for his first shift, former star. And he's actually playing wing for, for the Tigers. He played centre for the Stars. Tries to send it forward. A couple of guys trying to finish the hits there. James Moss. Yeah, left it, he left an imprint on there, Watkins. I don't think you like oh, that. And here's Michael Elder in on goal. Tries to go around. Oh, and he's... He's gone down, nothing given by the official. I think that's the right call. I think he just got in a little bit tight and got caught by the netminder as he tried to go around him. Although he's not happy, he's having a bit of a... He had a bit of a word with Mr. Farron there. Face-off won again by Basketovs. That looks like it's... Oh, and I thought that had gone in at first. As he, as the look for the wraparound and Basketovs can't get it in. Very quick from Basketovs, very alert. Yeah, as the shot comes in, chance for Matthew Campbell to collect, but he can't do anything with it. Chris Sykes. Interesting line here. There was a few people talking about it, obviously, uh, with Sykes and Basketov's playing with Matthew Campbell but so it, far he's it, it's working well and he's, he's doing, doing the well. job that I think he's, he's been set out to do had Mark Watson a little bit worried there Cal Pato just going over towards John Stokes he's had a little bit of a slash out at him he's having a word a little bit of a push on Joe Miller and then a big hit there by Dave Thomas absolutely levels Jordan Stokes welcome back Dave Thomas Weaver played it forwards Richie Thornton just got enough on just his enough. man just enough just enough down that's poor from Michael Bowman. They'd expect better than from him there. Shot comes in, kick save, rebound. Excellent Great poke. Stick from James Helens, I believe. Yeah, and then it comes out in front again, and Mark Watson scrambling. But James Helens, that's excellent play from him, just he's to hold shield the puck. He's got to realise he's a big kid. He's got a lot of size, so he's got to use that size. Yeah, and he's and, done it perfectly there. Yeah. At this level of hockey, you've got to use your frame. Oh, that's poor again from Michael Bowman. Gives it away. Chance, shot, save, and excellent two stops from Mark Watson forward comes plant sends it out in front that's good play by Statusfield and Thomas and Silverthorne wasn't happy with Dave Thomas there and he's having a little word look at Mr Farron good old fashioned hockey yeah big the side and, just push him and another way. big hit that time from Statusfield that was a big hit but now the Stars have left it open at the back and that's a great Brilliant, Mark save Watson. Mark Watson one on one with Rick Plant I think he just didn't look convincing with Plant, did he? he just, or either he was out of energy, or he just, he just didn't fancy it. Yeah, I think he thought he was round the netminder, but he wasn't. Put up against the boards, Alex Preston just leaning in. Ozols comes in and Brilliant. helps clear the zone. Ah, it's a shame just, it's going to yeah, be an Yeah, he got icing. too much of that. It's a shame it's going to be an icing because he... Uh, oh, it's been waved off. It's been waved off. Because they got the last one wrong? I think, well, maybe, or oh, the netminder did move a little bit. Darren Statsfield loses his stick, but picks it up very easily. Brilliant, Silverthorne. Yeah, Ross Hanlon not letting Silverthorne get away from him. But that's now a chance to come in tight. And it's a goal. It's Jonathan Weaver. And Alex Preston, I think, just got a little bit caught chasing the puck. Didn't pick up the onrushing D man who brings it in and stuffs it through the legs of Mark Watson. Yeah, great play from Jonathan Weaver. He was all his years of experience. Caught Alex Preston flat on his heels. Jumped up on the player. Little move on Watson. Probably a bit unhappy with himself. And they just squeeze through the five hole. Good pass forward there. Excellent Brilliant. there from Statsfield and helped out brilliantly by Ben No, Dave. he's not calling no that. No way is he calling it that was the other way around. It was the other way around. The Telford guy held Statsfield. Yeah, there was certainly no... I've got and to say, there was certainly no hand on him. Yeah, that's, that's, that's 
Farron wanting to get involved. That's Farron. It's been a long, it's been 17 minutes. He hasn't done anything yet. I'm getting involved in the game time. Michael Bowman just holding it in the zone. That's good penalty killing though from Stars. They've got it in the other end of the ice. Really aggressive penalty killing. Yeah. Forward comes Plant. Finds Holford. Great save. Mark Watson. He has absolutely plucked that out of the air. He showed in the left top corner. Pulled it straight back away from him again. Oh. Silverthorne, back to Weaver on the point. Weaver, right out to the middle, shot. Oh, and Mark Watson's knocked it into his own net. Nothing he could really do about it as the sh initial shot was blocked in front. I think Rick Plant actually did get a touch on it, so it may well be his goal. As it deflected off him and was dribbling towards the net. Mark Watson was committed to the first save, and as he tried to dive back to swat it away, he's knocked it into his own net. Through the middle, and here's a chance for Taylor to turn on the Jets. Here's a very, very quick skater. Shot. Excellent glove save. Mark Watson with a big windmill. There's that reach of Ozols again, was it? Or was it Moss, actually? It's a long reach. Moss drags the puck out, and then it's come out to the point, and the shot comes in. Excellent glove save once again. Mark Watson. He's flashed that leather a few times in this game. Jack Emerson lifted out the zone. Calpato, even at his height, can't get there. Excellent from Ross Hanlon. Oh, but in now come... Oh, how is that not gone in the net? Brilliant from Carl Patterson, you know. Yeah. Right? And Ozols, I think a pair of them got themselves in the way with the long sticks that they have. Here comes Miller. Fakes the shot, drags towards the middle, shoots, and it's a goal. Joe Miller cut to the middle of the ice, took the shot, and it's beat Mark Watson through the seven hole. Look which line it is again. All three goals from this line? I think so. Campbell digging for it. Doesn't have his stick on the ice, though, so he's not going to be able to dig for it very well there. Chris Sykes wins it back, finds Basketovs. That is deflected excellently. Great tip. From by Jason Silverthorne. Oh, doing his defensive duties very well. Bringing it forward for Plant. Plant with speed goes all the way around, takes his time, tries to lift it out in front. And Ozols, Ozol, sorry, oh, and it's given away by the Stars. Here's Silverthorne with a chance, shoots, scores. Big deflection. Oh, and I tell you what, just having a look there, was 17. Was, was it 17? No, it wasn't, but one of the. Uh, one of the Telford players, I'm trying to see who it was, I think it was actually Brody Jessen, threw an elbow out towards Ross Hanlon after the after the puck went yeah, in. And he got a big chop. And he got a big chop from Ross Hanlon, and he's skating off very gingerly. Baskatov didn't actually lost the face up, but then got it, won it back to his teammate. And that was a foot race between Miller and Keeley, and Keeley wins that one. But Silverthorne comes in and wins the puck back. Sykes lifts the stick, but the Tigers still have it. He is Miller. Sykes just get away with the knee. In come the Tigers, and it's a goal. He's given the goal. He is given the goal. It went in, bang on the 20-minute mark of the of the period, but the goal has been given. 5-0 to the Tigers, and it hasn't been a 5-0 game. Here's Moss now. Turns back, finds Elder, who has to stop up as he had Miller in behind him. Moss finds Cal Davies. Cross-checked up to the floor there. There's a shot from Ozols. Good save by the netminder and a shot from Hanlon. Good save. Shot again and a block this time. Good start to the third period from the Stars. Brilliant again from Ozols using that long... Look at that reach. That's massive, isn't it? Played through the legs by Dave Thomas, but that's easily collected by the Tigers, but Michael Bowman battling there, trying to get the puck away from Corey Goodison. In the zone come, oh, and it's off the pipe. Status field, able to hold Silverthorne to the outside. Just enough to force him wider than where he wants but to go. But Silverthorne, great skating. Unbelievable from Silverthorne, what a save by Mark Watson. That was absolute arrogance from John Miller, by the way. Instead of just finishing the job, he tried and to be clever. Here's Silverthorne in, shoots off the post. And that's going to be an icing call against the Stars. And it's the number one line out again. 
doing all the damage. That's it, Mark. Just undo your uh, undo a strap so that we've got to take a bit of time to give your line a breather. Kept in by sight. Oh, but it's fallen perfectly for the Tigers as Jack Watkins sends it for Macaulay Holford. Wide sent for Jack Watkins who touches it in. It's a good finish from Jack Watkins just on the doorstep, making sure he got enough on it. And, and we have a goal from a different line. We do. We have a goal that doesn't involve Jason Silverthorne. That is the first goal of the six that doesn't include Jason Silverthorne. Yeah, here we go. Callum Reynolds coming in. This kid's got a big future. This is his first ice time as a senior. James Moss stood up and that enables Tigers to come away with the puck. That's a power pass. Status field now. Drags it across for Ben Davison, who finds Cal Davies and now James Moss. Get the zone, Moss on the backhand, doesn't get a shot off. Tried too much, should have just got the shot off. Oh, and it's a goal! Michael Elder out of nothing, picks it up behind the net and fires from a tight angle past Sam Hewitt and finally gives the Stars faithful a little bit to cheer about. Captain Michael Elder for tonight. Captain Michael Elder for tonight. Hopefully it's something that continues. Captain Michael Elder for tonight with assistance being Cal Davies and Chris Sykes. A bit like that too, he just lets his, uh, lets his game do it. It comes Adam Taylor, takes the shot, saved by Reynolds, rebound and it's gone wide. Reynolds can't get back in position and Adam Taylor finishes it. Short side. Reynolds was bouncing about a little bit there, I think yeah, just the yeah. adrenaline of it. Yeah, just overcommitted, he made a big save and he just kept going with it. Couldn't get back on. I mean, he didn't have much support defensively on that one. So you can't put too much on Callum Reynolds on that. Got it done special because I thought we were going to be on camera at first. I know, I put my best aftershave on and everything. Not, the, not that the people can smell you. Hey, still. still. That's a penalty against Darren Statsfield. I, I think it probably was, I'll be honest. Yeah, I don't disagree with the penalty. I think there's been others exactly like it the other way that haven't been called. That's the problem. That's where the issue comes from. We yeah. know that was a penalty. We know that's going to get called 100 times out of 100. It's the one that he has let go doing exactly the same thing. And it's Statsfield's second penalty of the game. And it's only the second penalty of the game. A few little conversations going on out there. Keeping an eye on them. Joe Miller having a little yeah. bit of a... He does seem to have quite a lot to say, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, I suppose you're going to when you're playing with this line, aren't you? Yeah, I think we'd probably do well on this line. Can I? Yeah. I can't even skate. No, I can't. Neither can Joe Miller by the looks of things. Shot from Weaver. Good save and it's out in front and it's a goal for Joe Miller. He's the right place at the right time, isn't he? Yeah. Well, on the power play with Silverthorne, Weaver... Holford, Plant. <laughs> Who have took up what? 50 minutes of ice time tonight? So a fast paced start for the Billingham Stars, but a clinical show from the Telford Tigers forwards, in particularly Jason Silverthorne picking up five points. But plenty of positives as we hear in our post game interviews with coach Michael Bowman and man of the match Mark Watson. Also here from Telford's player coach and general manager Tom Watkins as we look back on the win by the Telford Tigers we'll be back next week with the start of the regular season as Deeside Dragons come into town, another Saturday night fixture at the Forum Ice Arena but for now thanks for watching this has been Billingham Stars TV your home for highlights of the ultimate windows, Billingham Stars